Go to South Africa, Manchester United, New Arsenal won. And I'm here with Chizoba. Chizoba, three points in the bag. Yeah, three points in the bag. A good thing for our title chase or our, our dream title chase, if it's going to be possible. You know, but um, today's performance wasn't too encouraging anyway. Though we played against the Manchester United side that is very disjointed. And, you know, when you're, when you're a very organized team, playing against teams like this can really throw your balance, you know, because... Uh, uh, you're playing against a team that almost has no pattern, you know, so they could mess up your game plan. And if you're not careful, you pay for it daily. But I, I like the way we're able to um, defend the lead from the first half till the end of the match. Saliba was immense today, the whole defense as a whole, you know, and uh, we're able to nullify every, almost every single attack, you know, from um, Manchester United. You know, I don't think they had any serious chance at all, you know, compared to us, and even with all the possession and pressure, you know, they had today. So it's a good one. Um, I think uh, we should be, uh, our focus will be on Tuesday. You thought you thought I'm fun on Tuesday. <laughs> it's very funny, you know, because these are our rivals, as in the team Arsenal fans hate the most. And imagine how you chain Tottenham. Um, on Tuesday, it's, it's but we, 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 it's, a, it's like our only option because uh, we, I don't think West Ham can do it on the last day. So we thought them need to just do, a, do us a favor or do themselves a favor because they're actually fighting for a Europa League spot or so. If I'm if I'm correct, so they need to do themselves a favor and fight really hard. And I think they can get the point from Man City. They are capable of doing it. They just need to bring up their A game. And most of their players are fit now, so. They just need to do it for themselves and for us indirectly too. Okay, talking about this game today, I think there's a pattern here. If you if you if you notice the Tottenham game, we came with the sim similar approach. We played on the counter against Tottenham. You understand? We went to the we went to the Etihad Stadium and Bernardo Silva said our wingers played like fullbacks. <laughs> and you get me. And today again, we did actually really you know we we're, we're all about nullifying what United were trying to throw at us. Well, that um, it, it's, it was expected because um, Ganacho is a very dangerous outlet for Manchester United and you can't just leave him for Ben White. Um, Saka needs to be falling back steadily to help Ben White on that. So, and even with um, all Saka falling back with Ben White, you saw how dangerous, even though he didn't do anything, um, do anything bold today or any, make any serious attacking move, but Ganacho was a handful, you know, on that wing. So, and, um, they also had, um, Ahmad, who started the game well. Ahmad Diallo started the game well, you know, though later on, I think we were able to surround him more and not really give him the room of freedom, you know, to make all those silky moves he was trying to do, you know, in the first, in the first 15 minutes. So, um, we, because of the kind of outlets they have on the wing, it's normal that we try to contain these people who soak their pressure and try to get them on the counter. But even the counter didn't really work out well for us today, you know, because they are, they had their midfield, you know, in a way that uh, there was no free person to make that run on the, to, for us in our attack. But it was a good game. We soaked the pressure well, you know, and um, yeah, we didn't really create much today like we, would, we normally do or would normally expect. But another thing people need to understand is this is Old Trafford. It's a ground that we don't really have a good history of, you know, getting wins there like that. You no, know? and um, it's Manchester United. Yeah, their season has been poor beyond their standards. Well, beyond uh, it has been poor, you know, below their standards, you know. So, um, but this is a game they would always take serious, no matter the circumstances. The rivalry between both teams is still very strong, even though Manchester United is, is now a former big team, you know, but. They would always want to turn up whenever they see the Arsenal. So, uh, um, do you think history is going to repeat itself? Winning Manchester United at Old Trafford, you know, doing the double against them, and do you feel like uh, talking about the league title? <laughs> I have removed my mind from the, from us winning the league. I am just hoping for a miracle or magic, you know, like some people say. But um, we can only hope. We can only hope. And um, I've been checking one or two things. It's still not going to be easy, you know, because um, even if 
Tottenham could get a draw against Man City. Our goal difference is the difference between us and Man City now is three goals. Just three goals, yeah. Man City can beat West Ham 5-0. Yes. Even can even beat Tottenham 5-0. And it's I think possible. The West Ham game is at the Etihad. Yes. I, I think so. You know, so they are capable of beating West Ham 5-0. So Everton is not going to be an easy game. Though I think it will be better than what we have today. But um, I can only hope that um, if miraculously um, Tottenham do us a favor on Tuesday, then our boys will be extra gingered and more fired up, you know, to kill off Everton as much as possible because we really need goals. We really need, we need to make it. If a miracle happens on Tuesday, we need to make it impossible. For City to get call it that league through the back door, that's by scoring ex- so many goals, you know. So try to score as many as possible as well, you know. And that's it. But uh, my mind is not there. But if it happens, I'll be very, I'll be very happy. In fact, uh, I, like like I was saying, if we if Tottenham do us a favor on Tuesday, uh, th- there will be preparations, you know, for a party. Enough. In fact, we might even have our own parade here. <laughs> You know, but like, because I, I heard just that the club, they were already making arrangements for a parade, which is normal. You know, they have to be very hopeful and, uh, at least they, they should be hopeful, you know, so that we can say, oh, if these people are hopeful that they can do it, then we as fans, who are we to, you know, doubt? So let's pray. So any standout players for you today in this game? Saliba deservedly won the man of the match and, um, uh, I think those mini Saliba. Then we had flashes of brilliance. Uh, there are points in the game where some players were really good. There are also times when um, Kai Havertz, you know, lost the ball a lot of times in the first half. But in the second half, he picked up his performance. You know, then uh, I, t- I also think uh, Tomiyasu was also pretty decent too. Yes, yes. Yeah, he was also pretty decent. Then. Tomiyasu Saliba, the, to me, we are the best players in the Arsenal team today. So, um, let me ask you this question. An Arsenal fan said something. He talked about giving, keeping Thomas Pate till next season. What do you think about that? Thomas Pate is a very good player on a very good day if he's fit. But the problem with Thomas Pate is just his fitness. You no, know, it's something you can't really bank on in the full season. So, I would just leave that decision to the club. But I would expect that to you, because well, I'm asking you. For me, we have we have a rice. I would also want another midfielder, even if I'm going to keep Thomas Party. I also want another midfielder. So whichever way, if you're keeping Thomas Party, I also want another central midfielder. If you're selling him, we also need another central midfielder. So you you would keep? I would keep. I'll keep. He's a very good player. He's a very good player. I'll keep at least for one more year. I'll keep him. Thank you very much. Thank you.